Chidambaram be probed in the 2G case. Joining us now, special panel first in our studio, Satyabhar Chaturvedi of the Congress Party, Subramaniam Swami, the man who's ignited it all, president of the Janata Party, Nirmala Sitaraman, BJP spokesperson, is with us. Also, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, spokesperson of the Congress and member of Parliament, and Neeraj Kishan Call, senior lawyer, is also joining us. Appreciate all of you joining us here on India at Nine. Let me come to you, Mr. Swami, right at the, uh, at the start. You heard what was said in the court today by the CBI. The CBI is saying there is a case going on in the lower court, in the trial court. Allow that case to continue. We don't see any reason that the court should be telling us who should be probed and who should not be probed. The court has no right to tell us that Mr. Chidambaram should be probed. Your response? Well, first of all, there are two cases in the lower court. One is the CBI case and the other is my case. Uh, I have an independent case. In fact, I filed it first. And it was decided by the CBI that it's better if I conduct my own case. And the court then empowered me to be the prosecutor of my own case. Now, it is in that case that I have asked for assistance by a CBI inquiry. Uh, the, uh, as far as the uh, CBI stand in the uh, Supreme Court is, it's a technical uh, stand that... Now the charge sheet has been filed, and therefore the trial court should decide everything. But the trial court cannot order a CBI inquiry because uh, the Supreme Court has held that only the High Court and the Supreme Court can order a CBI inquiry. So this, therefore, I have come to the Supreme Court, and uh, consequently, all the material brought on record has shown that CBI shows no awareness in any of its report that these documents exist. That's why the Supreme Court judges asked, have you seen these records? And if so, when did you see it? And they were not able to answer. Okay. That is where their weakest point appears. Okay, that's where you believe their weakest point appears at the moment. Satyabhat Chaturvedi, the Congress's response by and large has, to, has been that Mr. Swami is trying to create mischief. That Mr. Swami is, is bringing in Chidambaram while a case is going on, while an investigation is going on, thereby virtually trying to influence the CBI, influence the Supreme Court. Is that an argument that you believe can really hold water? I mean, at the end of the day, whoever is uh, responsible has to be, uh, has to be uh, 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 probed. And if new documents come, those new documents will have to be probed. Well, as far as my friend Subramanian Swami is concerned, I have high regards for him. And, and, and the, his entire background and, uh, and his history uh, as of till date has been of creating controversies. <laughs> and he's a very good creator of controversies, no doubt about it. Uh, but, but yes, that's not enough. That's not enough that he can create controversies. Uh, the fact of the matter is, what are we doing? What are we discussing here today? The issue is that the issue of reviewing the earlier policy of the government came up before the finance minister in the course of events. And what he did? He did not revisit the earlier policy. That is all that is alleged against Subra, uh, against Chidambara? No, I think it's going beyond that. I, I, I think what Mr. Swami yeah. is suggesting, it's, it, it's collusion. Yes. Am I right? That's Mr. Correct. Swami is saying there is collusion between Mr. Wonderful. Chidambaram and Mr. Raja. That's Wonderful. right. Wonderful. Now, he is alleging a collusion between Chidambaram and Raja. Now, for which he has to produce some evidence. If he is making an allegation, in support of his allegations, he must produce certain prima facie evidence. Now, if and when he produces that evidence, either before the investigating agency or before the court, the court will evaluate that evidence and f decide whether there is enough prima facie to, so, to, 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 to exceed to what he is demanding. This is for the court to decide. You are saying at the moment he is throwing a lot of uh, smoke as without of, fire. As, look here. There is a lot of, of smoke without as, fire. As of now, right now, till now when we are discussing this issue, there is no prima facie evidence available against Are, are you Chidambra? saying this entire just correspondence that is there just, here? I have gone through it. I have gone through it. You're, you're, you don't see this as reason enough at least to, to inquire, to investigate. No one is no, saying Mr. Chidambaram is, is guilty. Sure. But surely there should be an inquiry or a probe. No, no, what I am what I'm saying, just listen to me. What I am saying is, what is he being accused of? 
that he did not make a policy decision. Can a minister be accused of not making or making a policy decision? The elected government of the day makes policy decisions and it is their discretion to make policy decisions. Can you question the policy decision? of? So you are saying it, if, if anything it's about policy decision, no. implementation is where the criminality is, is that involves the, Mr. Rajat. If, if, if there is any prima facie against Mr. Chidambaram which shows any collusion or anything that he has done illegal or unconstitutional, then, of course, he becomes yeah. liable for... Before I come to you, Mr. But, Tarabha, till, then, me... but till now, yes. there is nothing... Mr. Supramanam the... Swami, do you nothing have any the... evidence that prima facie suggests collusion between Mr. Chidamram and Mr. Raja? Prima facie. I have uh, presented it to the Supreme Court. Please tell but me, what is, that, what is that one document that you believe one is document, prima facie one evidence? Document. No, prima facie evidence. Pri uh, you are talking about one document. I have presented several documents. I have uh, shown, uh, produced the, the reports of four meetings that took place between Raja and Chidambaram. A letter written by Mr. Chidambaram to the Prime Minister. A letter written on 21st April 2008 to Mr. Raja. And the uh, minutes of the meeting of 30th January. All of them show that there was a common understanding between Chidambaram and Raja and Raja has gone on record to put it on an office note that the following things I did not want to do but Mr. Chidambaram said it can be done and therefore I've done. None of this is being answered by either the CBI uh, council or the Chidambaram council. They are going on a technical point that please go to the trial court. Okay. That is what it is. Uh, quick, quick response because uh, I have to get my other participants in. Quick abso response. Absolutely good. The matter ends. It's very fine. My friend has already given all the relevant documents which he calls them relevant. I don't know whether the court yes. finds them relevant or not. That's right. We'll I mean, find out. So therefore, therefore, it's with the court now. All the documents are with the court. Now the court has to take decision based on the material available with it whether his demand should be acceded to or not. Okay. Nirmala Sitaraman, from a BJP perspective, do you say that these are policy decisions? Because the Congress is also saying that they were following a consistent policy that the earlier regime was also following, of first come, first served, which was not going down the auction route. That if and if at all the crime of Chidambaram is not so much is a sin of commission, but a sin of omission that he did not act against Mr. Raja. But where is the evidence that he had full knowledge of what Mr. Raja was doing? Your response. Pradeep, you've repeatedly said that the change in the position of Mr. Chidambaram from this November 2007 till um, um, January of 2008 has not been explained till now. His ministry and the senior secretaries had written to him repeatedly. D. Subarao's letter is now in the public domain, 27th November 2007. 22nd. 22nd November 2007. Very clearly saying, selling it off in 2001 price is not right auction would be the best way because it's a scanty resource scarce resource cannot be sold off like this and very clearly even the 15 january letter of p chidambaram to the prime minister saying all this then says let's treat the chapter as closed let's in the future go over these kind of you know major loss bringing topsy-turvy in decision making has to be explained and also till now we've been told criminality that, criminality uh, have you been able to show criminality wait a minute wait you a minute. can question the decisions but no, 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 no. decision. to say that this matter is sub judice or to ask the opposition parties to say where, where can you establish the criminality is not fair it will happen in the court no mr chaturvedi i don't think you should snide and uh, have a smirk on your face on this matter i certainly will say these are things which will be proved in the court but a matter of fact this whole controversy has led the Prime Minister to come to the Raj Sabha and tell the leader of the opposition that contrary to what the leader of the opposition, Sri Arun uh, Jaitley, has raised, he is convinced because both Mr. Chidambaram and Mr. Raja came to him and briefed him that everything is going fine. And if that is the case, why was this huge big loss? I, I, therefore, from the Bharatiya Janata Party, leave the culpability argument which will anyway be proved in the yes. court. There is a necessity for both the Prime Minister and for the Finance Minister of those days to tell us as to what caused the change in his position, why was the minutes right. of the meeting missing till now 
till this whole matter came up in to, through the RTI. But it's interesting that Mr. Swami, is not, Mr. Swami is not targeting the Prime Minister. As far as yes. you are concerned, but it's only Mr. Chidambaram. the answer to be given is definitely, because till uh, now... That's no. the difference between Rajni. Mr. Swami between you and the BJP. Rajni. The Rajni. BJP is saying thing. it's not enough to have Mr. Chidambaram being singled out because all these decisions were no, in no, the no. No, no, no. What BJP is saying, I will definitely say, I don't want you to sum it up like that. Yes. We want Mr. the former uh, Finance Minister to answer and explain. We also want the Prime Minister to tell us till now we've been under this impression oh it was the you know franchisee the alliance partner who was doing the error and we were watching we right. told them everything and the franchisee goes on telling us no 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 everything is in accordance with the advice given by the fm and also the pm right now we are not getting answer because we feel the coalition also went through probably a stage of corruption coalition also okay hold on and hold therefore on. the answer has to come from the minister and subsequently because the statement was made by the Prime Minister in the Raj Sabha. We Point want taken. Mr. Prime Swami, Minister. you are not singling out the Prime Minister. The fact is, on 2-11-2007, the Prime Minister also met Mr. Raja. On 26-12-2007, uh, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee also met Mr. Raja. But as far as you are concerned, it is only Mr. Chidambaram who must take the vicarious yes, responsibility. Because there is a fundamental difference between the Prime Minister and Chidambaram in the sense that 2003 the cabinet, cabinet decision. decision was that these two ministers will decide and they will only report to the Prime Minister what they have decided but what they have decided will be what will be implemented. So the criminality <coughs> comes as far as Chidambaram comes but there is no criminality as far as the Prime Minister is concerned. Okay, let, you know, let, let me also take that same question that you are, uh, that has been the, the immediate reason for why Mr. Chidambaram is under the scanner, the Finance Ministry note. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, you say the Finance Ministry note to the PMO came from a junior officer and therefore should not be taken seriously. The fact, Mr. Dr. Singhvi, is it was cleared by the Finance Minister Pranam Mukherjee himself. In March of this year, Pranam Mukherjee says in that note, or at least the officer says in that note cleared by the Finance Finance Minister, that this scam could have been prevented by Mr. Chidambaram. Your response? I think let us wait for a while. People are traveling. And unless and until that part is looked into, it would be wrong to assume that a note which says seen by the Finance Minister is in fact a note of the Finance Minister. Secondly, I think there is sufficient evidence prior and up to this note in 2011 that the finance minister ministry generally has been constantly talking of auction but that the DOT's attempts have been not to involve the finance ministry. Now, what are the details? Ultimately, I guess this is precisely the point which the courts have to look into. But no, 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 the bottom line, Dr. Singhvi, the manner in which this note has come out suggests a rift in the UPA. If a note is cleared by the present finance minister saying his predecessor could have stopped the 2G scam, what are we to understand? That there is a clear rift between your top two ministers? Well, that's the point. I've given a statement yesterday saying that obviously it does help politically people to create some amount of instability. Therefore, for some time, we've been having market gossip based on magazines and writings about this so-called rift you are talking about. No. Does that make it a rift? Does that mean that we are agreeing that two constitutional functionaries are having a rift? We certainly don't agree. Yes, it is true that politics is a matter of perception, but a line, a Lakshman Rekha has to be drawn where perception also has to be based on some fact. No, no, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, let me go beyond perception to facts. 10th of January 2008, Mr. Raja sends a letter of intent. Five days later, Chidambaram writes to Prime Minister saying it's a closed chapter. The licenses have been issued by then. Fifteen days later, Chidambaram meets Raja and says he is not seeking to revisit what has happened. His ministry, meanwhile, says to DOT to revise pricing for both old and new spectrum. But Chidambaram, after two months, says to Raja it's a closed chapter. Forget it. Please explain this. This is no longer about perception. These are the hard facts. The process of the DOT and the minister heading the DOT to keep all other persons out is reflected in the fact that on 9th of January 2008 he deferred the meeting of the 10th of January of the Telecom Commission which decided this very issue. There was no protest. It was happening one day later. No, no. Uh, uh, Dr. He adjourned it to 15th and on 10th a day later he issued 121 LOIs. That's the allegation. That's for the courts to decide. Now. Right. Now, after that it is entirely possible that LOIs having been issued Intent, yes, 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 letters of intent, 
and further action pursuant to that including payments of money which followed including various other actions now it is entirely possible that government one minute one minute let me complete it is now i am answering a question it's entirely possible that this uh, issue having become a fait accompli after that that a noting what you call a non paper would have been sent saying that we have to now look forward and go ahead because what has happened has happened it does not mean that the finance ministry is complicit on the contrary the finance ministry is constantly saying please involve us and please have an option quickly respond well, mr sir dr sir no no i see the question of keeping the finance ministry out there was a way which the cag itself has noted on pages 26 and 27 that the mr chidambaram could have invoked transaction of business rules and asked for a cabinet meeting in the event that the telecom ministry was not listening to him this is a it is a part of the rules when two you know, ministers that, that's very clear you know in fact where, where mr chaturvedi mr chidambaram could have revoked the license are we to understand that the finance ministry or minister of the country cannot revoke the licenses of or uh, that 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 had been set up by mr raja if he had chosen to do so yes, he had been it. empowered by a cabinet decision to do, to to monitor the situation could he have done so the yes. letters of intent and the licensing there is 3 or 4 months gap in, in any case at that time licenses were not yet issued it was right. the LOI. licenses were not yet yes, yes, issued LOI. he could have easily cancelled it is for, for you point. know what is most funny aspect of this whole episode yes a policy was formulated by nd government for not auctioning these licenses okay spectrum license which kept on being followed throughout the india regime and spreading over a period of several years these licenses were issued to various people at what rate at some rate which was not corresponding with the year when the licenses were issued nobody is questioning the formulators of this Yes, this, they are. This policy, the finance minister, just one thing, thing, thing just, is being just, uh, inquired by see, a CBI. CBI. No, 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 Now what is happening is what are you questioning today? You are questioning whether a minister who had a discretion of doing A or doing B, why did he do B? Why did he not do A? Now, tell me one thing: if supposing a minister has not done A and has done taken a decision in favor of B, tell me one thing: I mean, is it illegal? Is it unconstitutional? Yes. and unless and unless now listen to me very carefully and unless you have evidence to attach motives financial motives to this till then till then what is against the this this man response where is the criminality where is the illegality when the nation loses according to cag 176000 crores my god because this now, imaginary now, now figure now please keep quiet oh yes 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 uh, i'm sorry when the nation loses 176000 crores because Mr Chidambaram as the note of the finance minister to the PMO also says Mr Chidambaram chose not to exercise the authority of the finance ministry and the transaction of business rules and when he was mandated to decide the price along with raja there is a question of investigation mr jaswant singh is today under investigation for what so you are saying it's only about a probe at the moment it's you are not you are not saying that there is illegality or criminality I as of now i will take the, care in the trial court yeah, right the, now we no, are on the supreme the court the moment you produce that evidence the law will take its course no, 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 the law no, no, will no, take no, its no. course the whole hold, hold whose responsibility it is no. i mean those who are alleging and making accusations is it not their responsibility to put in the evidence making, and okay we are we are asking the court for it Responsible. You are saying let provide the evidence, hard evidence only at that stage. But of let course, me, let me, let me yes, come to yes, Neeraj yes, Kishan. Yes, where am I wrong while asking for no, the evidence? Yes, 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 To uh, interrogate Mr. Chidambaram while the matter is pending in the trial court, or do you believe there are substantive issues that need to be probed? 
Uh, Rajdeep, I don't think it's proper to comment on the criminal culpability or the CBI inquiry when the matter is sub judice. Right. But there's a more important issue in this matter, and that's about collective responsibility of the cabinet, about the legal and moral obligation of the government. If, and if I'm saying so, because today there's no determination, if this policy is ultimately found to be flawed, I personally feel it's a moral and uh, legal obligation of the entire government. Such important policy decisions which involve state assets, scarce assets which are very valuable assets, their pricing, whether it pertains to 4.4 megahertz as startup, entry fee, user fee, are not taken in isolation by departments or a minister. Ultimately, if they are found to be flawed and defective, I feel the cabinet has to take responsibility for the same. So this whole thing of blame game of naming one minister or one department, I don't think is ultimately going to work if the policy, and that there's a if to it, if the policy is found to be flawed. And that will be an important issue in days to come, that you can't just isolate and talk about one minister or one department. Such decisions, such important policy matters are not made by individuals. They are made collectively by governments and by cabinets. But, but let's distinguish between policy, policies and implementation. Raja's criminality comes in his implementation. Is that correct, Mr. Dr. Yes, Swami? Yes. That's what I said. I'm, Criminali I'm, I'm, criminality I'm is something reason. which the court is seized off at the moment. That's right. So if Raja's, uh, 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 if Dr. Swami, if the criminality comes in the implementation, then Mr. is Mr. Chidambaram, in your view, being held responsible for it, what Mr. Raja did? If Mr. Raja strikes quit, it was, quit deeds, joint, is Mr. Chidambaram it was a, responsible? It was a joint decision of the two it, and it's on the record. The policy decision was a joint decision. There is no it, policy decision. The pol there is no question of policy when deciding 2001 price. It was a... It was a cabinet decision. It was not a cabinet decision. No, 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 no. Decision. Wait a minute. Rajdeep, I think this that is, is where... Problem. I yes. want three things to be questioned here. Yes. The first thing is, let us assume that the argument goes back, oh, NDA, NDA is being investigated. We are glad to participate in that investigation. Right. But what justifies selling it in 2001 price? You could have at least thought of that as a ruling government saying, That's is right. it right to yes. go on 2001 price? Even rice and wheat doesn't sell in 2001 price. But Neeraj Kishan College pointing out that's a collective responsibility. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. No. Cabinet no decision says the finance minister's permission should be taken much before this is... Unless that is obtained, you couldn't have even uh, okay. gone ahead. Then, what was the role of the finance minister? That is not being explained. And through the answer given by the prime minister in the Raj Sabha, he accepts that I have been given answer both by the finance minister and the telecom minister. If answer was given by both of them, shouldn't that be explained now? That's the second question. Third, repeatedly we've been told the minutes of the meeting between Raja and Chidambaram was not recorded at all. How did the fact come out now? Where was it all the while? Why wasn't it informed to the parliament too earlier and the PAC when they were asking these questions? Why was there a deliberate? Can I say deliberate? I'm yes. asking. Why was there an attempt not to reveal these things at those times? Dr. Swami, at the end of the day, there's a feeling that you're singling out Mr. Chidambaram. That this is a personal targeting of Mr. Chidambaram. That you, that, that there, are, there are very valid issues that you have raised in, in, in the last several months as you pursue this 2G scam. But when you bring in Mr. Chidambaram, it's become personal. Why aren't you singling out the others also who are part of the decision-making system? Because I'm a private individual. I will do it one at a time. After Mr. Chidambaram, I've got another name up my sleeve. You want to tell us that name? No, I will not. <laughs> it's a big name. And let Mr. Let me ha first. I did on Mr. Raja, then I went on Kanimori, uh, then the Dani Nimaran, now with Chidambaram. The next name will also be there. I don't want to take all of them together. That's too much work for me as an Hindu, as a private individual. Respond, uh, uh, Satyam Chaturvedi. Somewhere, somewhere, will the Congress accept? Why don't? Why not be honest and say that there were coalition compulsions? Somewhere we were told to keep hands off the telecom ministry. Whatever Mr. Raja did, even if we had knowledge of it, we were told don't touch the ministry. So even if it is not a sin of commission, there is certainly a sin of omission somewhere. And that comes from the fact that this was the coalition dharma that you speak of. Telecom ministry is reserved for the DMK. We will not interfere even if we have evidence of Raja's criminality. It cannot be that Raja could have been involved in this kind of criminality without the knowledge of the cabinet system or of the PMO. And Raja till today or of says, the finance ministry. Raja till today says FM and PM have been continuously kept informed. Your response? Having said what I have said in this regard, now all I can say is we can make arguments of all sorts, 
nobody denies the responsibility being in the government along with our coalition partners it is a collective responsibility of everyone now if a policy decision is being taken by the government it is only the elected government of the day that will take a policy decision you can always question the policy whether it was a right decision or it was a wrong decision that every day every government i mean uh, we 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 see uh, every day now be it this state or that that how uh, one rupee kilo uh, rice will be distributed uh, television will be distributed and so on so accusations can always be made well look the public fund is being wasted no, on these kinds of things or a loss is being incurred on this so all these are policy decisions you can always question the validity of the policy decision which is the right of the people and the opposition but the but the biggest question is here is whether you have a ni evidence to show that there was a criminal complicity on the part of chidambaram in this regard It, till now there's no such evidence of if, criminal if, complicity if, you're, if you're using those words criminal complicity mr swami the, those if, words if, at, at the end of the day if, must, if the word when, criminal complicity this, in the law has a particular meaning yes. you will have to show criminal complicity where do i have to show it not in the supreme court supreme court i'm asking for a cbi inquiry i'll show the criminal complicity in the trial court so all you're asking all you're asking at the moment is for a probe yes, all right. you're saying is no, that no. the cbi if he has proved right. the issue if if he has if he has which he claims that he has all I do I will go no, if he has all the evidence why does he need a cbi inquiry why do need a cbi inquiry because i have do why does it why does it go now. to the court and produce uh, well, why should i do it i don't have to do oh, it the way not? you want to do you it you make no, no, it no, and you don't produce i don't do it you your don't way you the evidence you are a court. crook you are a party of crooks i don't have to do it your way <laughs> Don't okay. lose your patience. Man. I have to because you're telling me show do it this way. You know okay. you can't order me. There is a court of law where the matter is being. Uh, I am. I am doing tried. it systematically. I mean, therefore, I'm asking and suggesting I only one simple right thing, time. which any anybody will say. I will is do correct. it at the that right please time. Please produce all that evidence will, that you have against the judge. I will produce the court. I will no, 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 I will produce in the trial court when the time comes right now I want a CBI right now you want to make which, a big story now here again he is uh, interrupting yes, me I am saying I have produced plenty of documentation in Supreme Court to say the CBI's inquiry is a botch up it is a truncated one and there was a collusion between raja and uh, chidambaram i want the matter to be in investigated you, you want the matter to be proven no, what no, if no, the no, cbi no, tomorrow no, comes no, to you no, and no, says no, they no, have found evidence and contradiction is what he saying on one side he is accusing cbi of of uh, of wrong and on the other hand he wants a cbi inquiry therefore i want it monitored <laughs> by the court please pay attention i want it monitored by the supreme court i am quite confident whatever has been achieved so far is because of the monitoring not because the cbi is under their control anyway okay. anyway no, fine, fine. i said that yeah the entire matter is uh, now before the court yes. supreme court He has given all his evidence and, and the documents. And the Supreme Court today has asked the CBI and to look at those documents. They have asked them. The have you CBI seen the documents the, before? The they could the answer. They will ultimately make an order. Okay, we'll wait then for the court okay. to make an order. We don't want to play judge, jury, and executioner right. certainly Absolutely. in a television That's right. studio. That's But right. But we'll wait for the Supreme Court to monitor it. Satyavat Chaturvedi, Subramanian Swami, Nirmala Sitaraman, Abhishek Manu Singh.